Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a reading vlog. Haven't done one of these in a while. I have been like reading in the vlogs that I've been doing, but I haven't done a dedicated reading vlog in a very long time. But I thought that that seemed like the perfect thing to do today. It's kind of gloomy out. And I just wanted to do kind of a cozy little reading vlog for you guys. Honestly, this morning has not been my fave. I don't know why, because you will have heard me talk about this a million times by the time you are seeing this video, but my medication was at too high of a dosage, which was making me really like sensitive to sensory things and just overstimulated. But lately in the past couple of days, it's been fine. But this morning has been like a sensory nightmare. I do not know why. I was wearing a sweater and it was kind of scratchy and then I had to change into this t-shirt because I just could not deal with it and like leggings had to do that. My hair I was gonna have up in a claw clip but like the feel of my hair just on my neck it was too much for me so then I decided to go with braids but then I'm still not really feeling the braids and yeah it's just been there's been a lot happening this morning okay I don't know why but I feel like that is a sign that I need some kind of like chill time like even literally I can just feel my hair there and it's driving me nuts I can't explain it this morning I did start with my first book though which is Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna so I have had this for so long and have like had to read it for a very long time I've included it on a million different winter TBRs and finally I'm getting to it so I started the audiobook for this one this morning and I'm not very far in but I'm kind of at a point where like I would have expected more to kind of happen at this point but it hasn't really so I don't know how I feel about this one but I'm hoping I'll love it because I just love Kristen Hanna so much and usually her books are just like they hit the nail on the head for me so hopefully I will change my opinion there but I also was kind of looking at my shelves which is why I'm going like this because the camera is sitting on my shelves but I kind of wanted to start physically reading something as well. I usually do most of my physical reading during the summer because I'll like float around the pool and it's just my favorite vibe but I'm kind of wanting to maybe start reading something physically even if I don't end up finishing it that's fine. I just don't really know what I'm wanting to read. I think kind of like a cute sweet romance actually. Maybe I will physically read Tales from the Cafe by Toshikazu Kawaguchi because I have had to read this for a while. It's the sequel or companion or whatever to I, Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I think that's the first one. And then there's another one that I think I have, but honestly, I can't even, I have no idea. <laughs> so I'll have to see if I have that. But yeah, this will be kind of the perfect thing to physically read because it's super, super quick. It goes by really quickly. So these will be my two reads that I'm starting off with. And then I actually also have my self-help book. Let me grab that. But I started listening to the audiobook for The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin yesterday. I was filming a cozy hobby vlog, which I assume will be out before this one. I'm not entirely sure, but if it is, I will link it down below for you guys and started listening to that in that vlog. It's all about creativity and like reconnecting to that and that has very much been my vibe lately. So this is what's going on in this vlog. Exciting! <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so cool Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I've been home. I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I've been home. I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone
If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring on my wrist is gold It is after work now, which is very exciting because honestly by the end of the day, I was just not having it. <laughs> I have not updated in a while. Ignore what's happening on top of my head. I just wanted my hair out of my face. But I have been listening to Winter Garden and coloring in this coloring book. It is Glorious Songbirds. <laughs> and I just love coloring birds for some reason. I don't know why. So I've started quite a few of these, but have not finished a lot of them. I got kind of close to finishing this one, but I don't even know how many I started. I started a lot. Like the nice thing about this one is it has the actual colors of the birds on the back, which is cool. And then I was also Googling them to make sure I was like understanding the instructions correctly. But I have just been having a lot of fun with coloring all of these birds. I should probably like finish one the whole way through, but I just haven't quite gotten there yet. So Winter Garden, I... I'm not really sure about yet. I have not had the chance to read any more of this. I read like how many pages? 17 pages this morning and that was all that I got to before work and then I've been listening to audiobooks when I can so listening to Winter Garden quite a bit and then I listened to a little bit of the creative act as well. My original plan was to film this over the course of one day but I think it's going to be at least two kind of like a multi-day thing uh, but yeah I just don't know how I feel. Obviously this one don't really have any thoughts on but Winter Garden I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I think because I just came off of DNFing Hello Beautiful and the premise for it isn't similar but it's kind of a little bit similar and I think this one just isn't really ending up what I was expecting. Like I thought that it was going to be told between then and now and alternating but that's not really what's happening so I don't know. Maybe it's going to go into that soon. I have honestly no idea uh, but I just am wanting to know more about the mother. It's just kind of in a lot of the setup phase and I feel like it feels a little bit longer than the usual setup phase that I'm used to because I just came off of reading Hello Beautiful which had kind of a similar setup phase and that setup phase lasted a really long time so I don't really know what to think about any of this but I am going to listen to this a little bit more and then do some coloring at the same time and then I do have to uh, start some planning for next month's videos. I need to figure that out and I just have not gotten the chance to get to that yet so that's definitely a priority but we are pushing along. <laughs> All right, so it's actually a couple days later. I'm trying not to scrap videos as much because I think I'm just overthinking it, but I have finished one of the three books that I'm reading. You would think it's the one that I'm holding because I'm holding it, but no, I actually finished With Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna, and I liked this one, but I definitely didn't love it. It felt kind of half-baked to me for some reason. I wasn't quite able to connect to the characters as much as I wanted to and specifically the mother. Like there's a lot of mystery surrounding the mother and what she's been through and you know she's coming from this past and like I feel like one of the twists was that this fairy tale that they are being told as a kid is actually her story and like that's not a spoiler because I feel like that is very obvious and also it's on the back like it's not a secret okay but the ending was really frustrating because you just are like oh my god like I don't know I just I wanted it to be more in the past and I think because my expectations were that it was going to be more of a historical fiction it kind of disappointed me because it wasn't so much a, a historical fiction. There were elements of it that were, but definitely not what I was expecting. Like I thought from the very beginning it would be alternating perspectives, but a lot of it was set in modern day and 
I don't know. It just, it wasn't what I was expecting. So it was a little bit of a letdown, but like Kristen Hanna still is an amazingly talented writer and I do like love her. This is one of her earlier books and I just think it didn't, you know, it didn't quite get there. So yeah, this was, it was fine. I would give it like a three out of five stars and that's fine. I'm not mad about having read it. So still working through these. I haven't picked up this one in a little bit and I also haven't picked this one up since I started this vlog. Honestly, it's just been kind of a weekend. So today's actually Sunday and I need to do like a major Sunday reset because I have kind of put off a bunch of stuff from this week. So that's going to be fun. That's what we are going to be doing today. But Tales from the Cafe, I actually realized where I have the other book. I have Before We Say Goodbye and I'm staring at it right now. And I think there's a, like, I think there's four total. So I think I am still missing one. I hope to pick this up a little bit today, but I don't think that I will be finishing it. I just have other priorities. Now, yesterday I was supposed to essentially, whenever I have something that like I need to do, I suddenly am doing all of the other things. And yesterday I was supposed to start my taxes and I, hate taxes. They are like my worst nightmare. So I actually ended up finishing an amigurumi. Look at it. I am so proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. Like this is the first thing that I fully finished on my own making. And I was taking a Skillshare course. I was starting it and I didn't expect to finish it all in one day, but I ended up just hyper focusing on this. And look at him. Like he's a little bit wonky, but I do love him. I have been carrying him around the house basically since I finished him. I called my entire family and was like, look at this thing that I did. I am just so proud of myself for finishing one. Like it's not perfect, but I'm letting go of perfection and I just love him. I am honestly so proud and so impressed with myself for finishing this. And I just have this like fire under my butt to finish the other one. So I don't think I mentioned in this vlog, I think it was in another one, but my sister is having a baby and she's due in July and I want to make her at least one amigurumi. I'm kind of aiming for two, but I feel like I'm actually maybe going to be able to accomplish that. So I just feel so proud of myself. I cannot explain the like serotonin boost that this gave me. And I was learning this from a Skillshare class, like I mentioned. So the next one is actually a flamingo and I will need to go and grab the yarn for that one because I just grabbed the first bit of yarn. So then I wasn't like over committing, you know, but now I feel like I can definitely go and grab the other stuff. And I'm just so proud of myself. Like I love him. Super, super proud. That mane was quite difficult for me, but like I did the damn thing. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. So I have just been in a majorly creative mood. I'm probably going to do a whole video about this, but I have just kind of opened myself up to creativity again and it has made such a difference for me in my life truly and it's just been so freeing and I've been absolutely loving it. So this morning I was feeling rather creative again and I actually ended up taking out my watercolor pens or markers, whatever you want to call them. I've been using, like I had started using those and then I was using actual watercolors and I've been kind of playing around with that, but I made some artwork, which I'm going to just hang downstairs. My plan is to kind of have the basement, which is kind of like, I am, I don't know if you'll see it before this, but I did a whole reset of it downstairs and made it more of a functional space because it was kind of like a dumping ground. But I also kind of want it to be like this inspirational space, if you will, where I can kind of go down there and see all the things that inspire me and all the things that I have created and it will just make me really happy. So right now I'm kind of just like doodling some stuff to put on the walls, which I think will be quite fun. So this, I need to like work on the roots actually. I'm going to, I just did that with Sharpie and then the rest is like the coloring in is the watercolor markers, but the roots I think look a bit too perfect. So I want to, them to take up a little bit more of the jar, but I painted this and then this is the actual watercolor paints. And then I just did some Sharpie on top. And then this is the watercolor markers. And I feel like it turned out quite well. I do like, it's easy to get too much water with them, but these are just for fun. Like it's honestly, that's the thing. It's just for fun. I don't care that these aren't like 
expert level beautiful. They just, it makes me happy to sit there and relax and just, you know, do something artistic. I am enjoying it a lot. But like I said, we need to reset this Sunday, like majorly. <laughs> I just lately with my medication struggles, I wasn't doing anything all week. And then now I have gotten better. So I've been doing stuff throughout the week. But then when it came to the weekend, like on Friday, I just wasn't really tracking my to do's. I was just kind of doing a bunch of stuff. Work is really busy right now. So I got caught up with stuff with that. And essentially I just ended up not really keeping up with like my weekly routine and my tasks for that. So I need to kind of take a look at my to-do list and see what is overdue, what I want to add to today and what I will just wait until next week. And I need to actually start my taxes today and figure out a new plan for that because my own like personal deadline is coming up. So I need to get on that and then what else? Obviously, as part of the weekly routine, there's still some like house cleaning. I would like to take another look at my goals for February because I know I kind of have gone off of the off of what I was planning for that because of the medication thing. So I want to kind of take another look at it, adjust things so then I still feel like I'm accomplishing things. I want to plan some videos so then I can get ahead on content again because I'm definitely not ahead right now. But I have so many ideas. I'm really excited about that I am wanting to do. So I need to kind of figure out a filming schedule. I don't really need to do groceries because I didn't really make many dinners last week. So we still have stuff prepped for that. I would like to try and go to Michael's today to get the yarn for the next amigurumi, but that's definitely more of like a want than a need. And I think I would also like to pick up some acrylic paints because I only have the paint by number paints and then other than that I have my watercolor markers and I have my actual watercolors but I think I would like to do acrylics and I have a gift card for Michaels but we'll see if I end up doing that. I'm not 100% sure yet but that's kind of what we are doing today. I should pick up a new audiobook actually. I could switch this one to an audio listen but I feel like it's so short that it's one that I kind of want to physically read. I don't know. The past couple of audiobooks that I've listened to, it was this one and then Hello Beautiful, which I ended up DNFing. So both of them were kind of more heavy and introspective reads. So I'm thinking something kind of like fun and mindless for my next listen. I should take a look at that. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, I felt compelled to pick up this one. I haven't looked at this one since I got it, to be honest, but it is The Hundred Loves of Juliet by Evelyn Skye. It's supposed to be like a love story. It's about a writer, which is fun. And I believe that it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling, I would assume. But this is by the author of The Crowns Game, which is a YA book, but this is actually her first adult novel. So that is exciting. And I am just downloading the audiobook now on like I'm getting it through work, which is exciting. So I'm going to start listening to this. But I actually wanted to do a little unboxing quick book haul for you guys, which is such a throwback to like my original reading vlogs. But I have so many packages up here that I just haven't opened in a long time and I would like to put them away. But I thought it would be fun to do that with you guys. Literally such a throwback. This is very classic reading vlog. So I have, ooh, I have envelopes, I have boxes, a little bit of everything here. Most of these are from Simon Teen because that's most of where I get sent books now. I do have one that I actually already unboxed for a sponsorship, but it is Prompt Chanted by Morgan Matson. Love Morgan Matson. This is a Rapunzel retelling. So super fun and really excited for that one. Ooh, we have fun things in here. So we've got a book which is Otherworldly by F.T. Lukens. This cover is so winter. I'm very disappointed I didn't open this sooner, but I've read a couple of F.T. Lukens and I have not heard of this one. It is a cozy fantasy about a skeptic and a supernatural being who make a crossroads deal to achieve their own ends to get more, only to get more than they bargained for. That sounds right up my alley. And it also came with a hat. Oh, it has a pom-pom too. Cute. My hair is already so frizzy on top that I don't want to put it on. <laughs> it would just like make the problem worse. <laughs> that pull tab almost works perfectly. So close. Here we have the No Girlfriend Rule by Kristen Rand or Christian. I think it's Kristen. Yes, it is Kristen. This is once again from Simon & Schuster. I have not heard of this, but it is a queer romance RPG adventure and story of self-acceptance that we all need. 
fun. This seems super, super cute and it is coming out March. So it's coming out next month. I actually should check. This one is coming out in April. Close. I don't know where to put these books. I'm just going to pile them in front of the camera. <laughs> next is Tender Beast by Lacelle Sambury. I actually need to read, I forget what it's called. Delicious Monsters, I think is what it's called. I read Blood Like Magic by this author and really loved it. And this is a new book. It's coming out this month. So it might already be out. It's coming out this coming Tuesday when I'm filming this. So it's coming out on the 20th. Seventh, but oh, I didn't know she's Canadian. She's Trinidadian Canadian. Fun. This is once again a wow. Okay, so Sunny Bear has I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that last name right, but it has four siblings, but only one is a murderer. Intriguing setup. These pull tabs, man, are killing me. They just keep getting worse. Very annoying. There we go. Okay, so we have another first chance by Robbie Couch. I have another book by this author, but this one is coming out May 28th. Seems to be a story about grief and a character who's kind of rebelling since his best friend died. So that is definitely going to be an intense one. This is King of Dead Things by Nevin Holness. Where are my scissors? I don't know where I put them. That's a really cool cover. I think it's like a fantasy. It is coming out April 16th. Oh, and we have a fun little like um, promo thing, postcard thing. I don't know what words are escaping me right now. <laughs> but it says on it, the world of King of Dead Things in six words, magic hungers, devours, and never sleeps. It is found family, a debut author, morally great main characters, amnesia, a deadly revenge of re bleh. A deadly revenge plot, London, but make it magic, and Afro-Caribbean folklore. That sounds fun. And finally, I've got two big boxes, and they are both actually from Simon. This is very full. So we have Diary of a Confused Feminist by Kate Weston. I feel like that title is honestly self-explanatory. Forever by Judy Bloom. I actually haven't read this. I should read Judy Bloom again because that was one of the first authors I remember when I was a kid and I wasn't really a reader. I asked my dad to get I think I read Blubber and I read like the classics and everything, but I remember going to the bookstore and him getting me all of them because he was just excited that I was reading. So I really should read this and read more Judy Bloom. And then we have Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. I haven't read a Cassandra Clare book in a really long time, so I probably will be donating this one, honestly, but I'm always happy to get these because it's nice to be able to give them back to other people who might need them. And our final box here is an arc box. So this should be all books that are not out yet. I'm just going to grab them all out of the box because that's easier. We have Ready or Not by Andy Peretta. This cover is super cute. This is coming out July 2nd, 2024. It is a summer of dares and questionable decisions. I am always looking for new summer pool reads because I just love reading things in the pool, honestly. Then we have Love Off the Record by Samantha Markham. This one is coming out June 2024 and it is the Hayden game meets You've Got Mail in this smart chemistry filled YA rom-com about two rival journalism students competing for the same position on their university newspaper. That does actually sound like the kind of enemies to lovers book I am generally into. Then we have A Magic Fierce and Bright by Hemant Nayak. This has a beautiful cover. It's coming out July 2024 as well and it does not have a quick synopsis. I always like when they have a quick little synopsis because I'm terrible at summarizing but it is set in South India. That's cool and it is a fantasy. There's a threat of invasion and the main character has to reconcile the kind of person she is with the kind of person she wants to be and untangle the web of intrigue, conspiracy, and deceit that threatens to take all of India down with it. That sounds intense. We have Better Must Come by Desmond Hall. Desmond Hall sounds very familiar. I feel like this author has quite a few books, but I have not read them yet. Oh, just the one, but I did have it. Your Corner Dark. But this is, there's a lot going on in that synopsis, honestly, uh, but it's coming out May 7th and it seems like a very intense sort of read based on that synopsis. I'm not a huge fan of the font that they use for it, to be honest. I find it kind of hard to read, but I'm sorry. I will link it down below so then you guys can learn more about it. And then we have House of Thorns by Isabel Strychess. This seems like the perfect kind of um, like spooky Halloween-y sort of read because it says on the top, Leah Pear Tree is haunted. So, you know, 
seems Halloween-y. We are nowhere near Halloween, but spooky is always fun. So thank you very much to Simon for sending me all of these books, apart from the one that Disney sent me. Thank you to Disney for sponsoring me. This video isn't sponsored by them. It's going to be a sponsored Instagram post, so that's fun. I always love doing those. I am going to have to put these books away later. That's another thing on my to-do list and also take care of all the garbage that I just threw on the floor. But I think I am going to start off by just kind of like sitting at my desk and seeing what I want to do first since I have a lot on my to-do list. How weird that there's a camera behind me too. This is like my main filming camera and this is my vlog filming camera that I'm using. But anyways, I would really love to like have audiobook listening time, have time to start my audiobook, but I think that I'm going to have to earn that so to speak. I I don't want to say that in like a damaging way, it's fine. Uh, but I need to kind of figure my shit out and figure out exactly what I need to do and stop procrastinating on a lot of things. Like I'm saying it not in a damaging way because I don't know, I feel like I'm way overthinking this because I'm always so concerned about what people are going to think. But what I mean is like, I spent all of yesterday procrastinating and having fun and making my son, who his name is Lionel, by the way, love him so much. Uh, so I've, I've had my free time. So it's not like I have been working, 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 and I'm like, no, you need to continue working. That's not what is happening. I actually need to get stuff done so then I can have free time and be a little bit more organized. So I didn't need to be holding this book up that whole time. I'm just covering the screen because I have like, it's coming from iCloud, so I don't have everything downloaded. So sometimes there's black squares, but whatever. I need to take my notebook essentially and just brain dump all of the crap that is in my head, all of the mental clutter that I have right now. I need to just get it out on a page. Normally I do all of my planning in Notion because I am like keeping up with it. But if I'm not keeping up with it, if I kind of fall off the wagon, I need to sometimes do some physical planning and just like brain dump so then I can go back and update my notion and make it so it is useful again. So that is what I'm going to do. This notebook is kind of just my like, I write down the random stuff that I'm thinking during the day I have it next to me so that I can just jot stuff down. And right now I'm going to use it for just literally getting everything that I need to do out of my head and onto the page and figuring out when I'm going to do it. Because realistically, I'm not going to be able to do all of this today, but I want to at least try and get as much done as I can where I'm still like enjoying the day and having reading time. So, what time is it? It's only 10.30, man. I'm killing it. I feel really energized and ready to go today. I think I'm going to set a timer for like an hour and I'm going to work on some stuff in that time. Uh, whatever it might be, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to start working on some stuff. And then after that, I will see if I want to continue working without burning myself out and maybe take at least a little bit of a break for free time if I do want to continue working. We're gonna do that. <laughs> sitting here for it feels like a very long time I mean I guess it is the last time I updated you guys it was only 10 30 and now it's 10 to 1 but I have all of my March videos planned I have my filming schedule planned I have what I'm posting planned I have half of April planned and I am so excited about it I went and I like built out my calendar and everything I was going to use notion calendar I was trying to but I was getting a lot of glitches so I didn't end up using Using that but I did get like everything planned here so I have like when my fiance is working so then I know when I can film I have like appointments and all of that all in one spot so then I will get notified when 
things are happening which is really nice I'll get notified like the day before and I have had this set up before but then I just kind of fell off the wagon with it which happens sometimes so I'm really glad that I took the time to get this set up now and it's something that I will continue to update so I do have to actually like plan out the videos but I am going to take a break and actually start with reading my book which is exciting I'm not sure well I'm like what I'm going to do well I'm listening to the audiobook maybe be just color I'm kind of wanting something easy but I am going to set a timer and actually do it this time because last time I said I was going to set a timer did not do that but I'm going to set a timer because then I'm going to start on my tax stuff which is one of my priority tasks but it's also the task that like I really just do not want to do but I know that if I get started with it I will feel a lot better and it will be like one of the big things off of my to-do list so I will get going with that and then with my weekly planning that's like my other top priority there's definitely other things that i need to do but those are kind of my like top two right now i am glad though that i took the time to sit down and plan out some videos because all week i've been wanting to do it because i keep on like thinking of things that i want to do and i am just glad that i sat down and actually did it and i'm just feeling so excited about all these ideas and i feel like i was feeling that last month but last month i just was not able to follow through because of the medication issues so this month i am determined to actually follow through on it and I did end up planning more videos than I had said I was going to, but it's fine. I feel like I'll be able to keep up with it, hopefully. I'm not going to like put too much pressure on myself and get stressed out if I can't keep up with it. downstairs now because I'm just cleaning up my stuff that I have been using this weekend. I was working on like my paint and numbers. I just didn't put the stuff away yesterday so I'm just putting all my craft stuff away. I also brought down tape though because I want to tape up the little like drawings and stuff that I did today because I think that's fun. Little update though, I did do some of my tax stuff so that is a major win and i did start listening to the hundred loves of juliet and it's very interesting so far i'm actually really glad that i decided to pick this one up like i'm definitely not very far into it but the concept i'm like oh i am like definitely into this because it's like a romeo and juliet retelling but it is like they keep living over and over again except it's only her who keeps being reincarnated and he just like never ages is what it seems like. I don't know, it's very interesting. They like keep meeting in these different lifetimes and they're kind of always doomed. So I'm super intrigued by that, but I just drew this, which is just this little moon with, I don't know, lavender. That's not very good, but I just kind of want this downstairs area to be like my little inspiration station, if you will, so. I don't really care that they're not good. The idea is that I can continue to improve and I think that's fun. Really, I should like put these up on a different wall because the wall that I'm doing right now, there's a shelf right below it that has all these pictures of like loved ones and stuff. So I don't really wanna show you guys, but this is where I decided to do it. I'm just gonna turn it around and then I'll blur what I need to blur. I'm gonna try and stand right here because behind me are just pictures of the pets, so I don't really care. But you can see how I am just putting them over top of here. I think it's kind of a nice spot to put them. But I just want this like basement area to be more of a useful space. And I feel like having stuff on the walls is definitely going to help. And it's fun to have stuff that I have done. So I have been liking this. There we go, ta-da. 
you can hopefully see it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out when I'm editing. <laughs> Anyways, I might do some more craft stuff, like I might color in some of my coloring books. I don't really know, I think my fiance and I are going to play, we've been playing the 3D Mario world, we've been playing that. I'm not very good at stuff like that, but we've been having fun with playing that, so I think we are going to do that shortly. And then I'm going to have to kind of take a look at my to-do list and see what's gonna move around, probably plan for the rest of the week. So then I can kind of be on the right track because I definitely, like I said, not gonna be able to get to everything today, but I would definitely like to have some more audiobook time. So I guess while I'm waiting for him to be ready to play Mario, I could actually listen to my audiobook and do some coloring. Maybe we'll do that. I've actually finished some of the ones that I did in the bird book earlier. I'm almost done with this one, but it's just I don't want my markers to run out and I feel like everything requires green, which is unfortunate, but I did start quite a few. I'm really into the bird one. I don't know why, it's just, I feel like birds are kind of easier to color and I'm kind of enjoying that. So. Maybe I'll work on some more birds. Although I did that earlier, so I feel like I should do another one. I was working on this one yesterday, but it's my cottage core one. So what, did I start one that I need to finish? Yeah, I started this one because it looks like my childhood cat, Snickle Fritz, and then Jackson. So that makes me really happy. Maybe I'll color this one. I don't know, I'm so indecisive. <laughs> actually the next day but I wanted to give you guys a little reading update. Yesterday we just played Mario a little bit and then I made dinner and then I actually had my burlesque class that night so it was just kind of a chill night. I did end up getting pretty much all of my reset tasks done like I got this week planned so I'm feeling really really good today I'm feeling just ready to go and like I know exactly what I need to do to tackle this week which is awesome and I have been this morning listening to quite a bit of my audiobook like honestly I am really really enjoying it so I started with the hundred loves of Juliet I'm so glad that I went through the effort of getting this up there you go the hundred loves of Juliet so I started with that and I'm just really liking this one like I feel like it's kind of what I really wanted. It's, I can't remember what the book is called, but I can picture the cover. So I'll put the cover here, but it's what I wanted that book to be. So I'm glad that this has been successful so far. I'm still not very far into it, but I'm going to continue to listen to it this morning. Sorry, the battery died. So I had to change the battery. But what I was going to say from there is that I'm actually going to close out this vlog here. I had a lot of fun doing another reading vlog I always think these are fun like I have been updating you guys on my reading and all of the other vlogs that I do and everything but it is fun to just do like a classic reading vlog again sometimes even though to be honest it's not all that different than like the hobby vlogs or like reset vlogs or whatever vlogs I've been doing so if you are ever looking for more bookish things it does exist in those vlogs it's just not like i'm not really calling them reading vlogs anymore but yeah i am definitely going to be listening to more of my audiobooks today and i'm actually starting a new vlog so i will update you guys on that in another vlog and also in like my wrap-ups and stuff so if you want to hear about my final thoughts for the hundred loves of juliet i'm hoping that I will really enjoy it. I also do actually still need to finish with the creative act. I am still kind of like slowly making my way through that one. And then 
I have not gotten any further in the, I forget what one, but the before the coffee gets cold. I can't remember what the title of this one is, but I haven't gotten any further in that sequel. So I would love to. I just haven't had all that much time to just sit down and read. And honestly, I don't know if I will this week. So I will hopefully get to that one very soon. Like maybe this weekend, I will take some time in the vlog that I'm going to be filming this weekend and I will get to it. That would be nice. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in another new one very soon. Bye!